Hi guys, behind up. My name is Maria, if you don't know me already, and today I'm going to lead you through some point work. So something that you should check is that you are doing this onto some hard floor, so carpet wouldn't really be suitable, you would risk to get injured and that's for sure something we don't want to get right now. Uh, something else, please make sure that your feet are warm and the rest of your body too. So something that you could do could be, for instance, to check the videos, tutorials that Dada Girls and I have uploaded on how we warm up our feet for point work. If not, just do your own warm up, just please make sure that you're not cold. Um, what else? Oh yes, please make sure you're wearing something comfortable and that you have read our disclaimer. Just quickly before we start, um, I'm going to give you some tips and tell you what I think about while I'm doing these exercises as well I'm going to explain some of the steps because maybe some people might have not studied them yet if you have you can just skip through that's fine if not maybe you'll learn something new today who knows um so yes get your shoes out but don't put them on yet and ready to go before we put our point shoes on I think it would be good for us to do some rises in bare feet so we're going to take seven rises in six seven rises in first, seven rises on your right, and seven rises on your left. That means that the eighth count is to change position. Okay, what I want you to think about here is that the accent is on the way up, and then on the way down, you take your time. So you should really use all of your leg muscles, and as well, make sure that whenever you go up and down, you don't do any of that, but you really go straight, so your ankle, your knee, so your ankle, your knee and your second toe are all on the same line. Let's do this the music. Shake out. We'll start with a warm up and we'll go up on a rise twice very slowly, being very careful of going through the demi point and down. So we'll do that twice. Then we'll go through the feet four times and then four times with plie. Three, four. From here. We'll go again on rise, but this time we'll have a plie twice and then the same thing, reverse. Down, really pushing into these heavy points. Let's do this with music. Next thing 
we're going to do are relevance. So I'm going to show you with just one handlebar, but for you it's two hands. So we're going to take from first position three relevance. One, two, three, four, five, test your balance, six, come down seven, prepare a second. One, one, two, three, four, five, hold six, come down seven, prepare into fifth. One, two, three, four, five, now this is a longer one, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, come down six, prepare seven, eight, ready to go to the left. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, hold six, come down seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, hold six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, come down, five, six, seven, eight. So, Izzy gave you some great tips last time that she did point work. She said that when you're doing a relevé in fifth position, you want both of your feet to join together underneath yourself. So you're not gonna move one way or the other. They're both gonna come just straight under you. Um, so this exercise quite tests your balance. So especially because you have two hands at the bar, maybe the first time you can try with just taking off one hand and when the one will do the left, you can try with both if you feel like it. If not, just keep your hands there, that's fine. Maybe really think about your tights and your legs really getting strong. what a double échappé is. So it starts just as a normal échappé. From here, plies in second, relevé, and then close to fifth, change in leg. So that's just to make sure. Okay, so the exercise is two normal échappés, and then a double. Plié, relevé, into fifth. Same thing again. Two échappés, a double, close into fifth. Three extra base. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just the right of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just the right of it. Okay, let's do this with music. Again, you're gonna have two hands at the bar. I'm just gonna show you with one because it's easier. Double. I just made myself a bar, but please don't try this at home. Need some expertise. Okay, so before we start the next exercise, I just want to make sure that everyone knows what an assembly and on point is. So it has the same motion of a normal assembly, but it is on point. So we'll start from plié, left leg behind, or whichever the work leg is behind. Turn to outside, still in the plié, and then join together in the fifth. 
Same thing to left. And this obviously can do reverse. So starting from the one to the back and to the back. Okay, the exercise is going to be one, two, for the very three, three, four, same thing again, for the six, seven, coup de pied, right to coup de pied, pas de pied, and now our assembly comes. Assembly with the back leg, assembly with the back leg. Same thing to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, coup de pied. One, two, pas de bourré, four, five, six, assembly, eight. If you think that's hard, we are going to reverse it. So for the reverse, the back leg is going to start with the first right away. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, right away, into coup de pied, devant this time. Right away, coup de pied again, pas de bourré, assemblé, start with the front leg. Assemblé, plié, assemblé, plié, to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, coup de One, two, pas de re, assemble, close back, assemble, close back. And that's going to be the hand. Just so you know, we're going to do right and left, then I'll pose it and we'll do the reverse. Thank you. 
Let's do the last thing for today. So this is called glissé and point. So surprise, it's very simply just a glissé which starts from fifth position on point and finishes in fifth position on point. Our exercise is going to be starting in the preparation five, six, plié seven, roll away eight. One glissé, so as so it's very simple. Start from the back and you finish in the front. So one, two, three, four, and then we'll curve around ourselves going towards the back leg. Five, six, seven, eight. And now we're ready to start to the other side. One, two, three, four, just around ourselves. Five, six, seven, eight. Just very simple. That's the end. Ready again? Maybe plié as well. Just really stretch it because point work can be quite heavy on your legs, especially on your calves, as I said. So both legs, just stretch them out a bit. Maybe if you want to give your feet a massage, why not? If you haven't done point work in a while, the best thing would be to put your feet into a bucket of ice water. Uh, very cold water with a lot of ice, that would be great and you'll see that tomorrow and the next days you'll just be able to do anything, point work as well, without feeling too sore. So I really hope that you enjoyed today, I really did and if you have any questions or anything that you would like to share with us, with the company, please send us and yeah, I'll see you soon, goodbye!